Good morning guys, I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going upstairs and I'm gonna give you a tour of Baby Boy's Nursery. I am so excited. It is done. <sighs> One step closer to Atlas being here. So here is Atlas's nursery. It is a super simple space, which is exactly what I was after. And it comes with a handsome cat. Hi, Sparta. I'm gonna show you all the awesome details of this room, but first I just wanna say thank you, Corey and my parents for helping me put this together. There's a lot of the aspects of this room that I just wasn't physically able to do on my own. So thank you guys so much. This wall is probably one of the biggest highlights for me. It's our galaxy wall, just a nice dark blue with some silver stars. Corey went through and added all these details like little star clusters and galaxies. He has that special one there. He was telling me about the other ones. I guess a firework kind of right there. And maybe is that a reindeer or a horse? I don't know. He's got some sneaky stuff in there. And then this small piece of art I love you more than all the stars. At first I was gonna get a huge piece of art because this wall really is big, but I decided on something small because I wanted to show the magnitude of the stars and I didn't wanna cover up this awesome artwork we did. So I really like the size of this. Sometimes smaller is better. It makes the statement you're looking for, right? I mean, I love you more than all the stars and then just look at all the stars that are in the sky. It really shows the magnitude of what that statement means. And then over here we have a sitting corner. This is where we'll sit with Atlas, where I'll feed him in the middle of the night. I absolutely love this lamp. Some of you may recognize it from when Corey won his furniture contest like ages ago. I don't know how many years that's been. And then this chair we're repurposing. This is another chair that actually comes from my high school years. This was in my room in high school, although this chair is in a little better shape than the chair we have in the portal room, but it works really, really well in this room and we are able to reuse it, which I love. And then you have to have a place to put all of your stuff. I got room for water. I have a notebook here to write down kind of like a diary day by day, how Alice is doing the things we've done, how he's eating, right Sparta? That's something I did with Chell and it's really fun to kind of look back and see, oh today we took a big walk and today was the first time you slept six hours or whatever. So I'm gonna do that again with Atlas for sure. And how perfect is this notebook for that? It's just a bunch of space cats. I love these decomposition notebooks. They are always so funny. I'll put links in the video description to all the stuff that I'm using in this room because there's a lot of little details that really just make a room have personality and make it uniquely you. So if you wanna check any of this stuff out, you can. Like this lamp, I am seriously obsessed. Not only is it rocket and space themed, but it is remote controlled. So you can turn it on and off. You can change the colors. Look how cool that is. I, I love this lamp and I'm really gonna enjoy at night having a really nice, low light that I can control via remote control. So if I'm sitting here feeding Atlas and I finish up, I put him in bed, then I can just grab this remote control and turn the light off. This cat is like not leaving my side, by the way, guys. Corey thinks I'm gonna go into labor today and I, um, I think Sparta agrees with him. I'm not sure I do. I'm not quite ready yet. And on the other side of the room, we have Atlas's crib. I am super happy with how this cloud artwork came together. There is a light in these clouds, which is gonna look amazing with a little baby sleeping underneath it. Now this light is super bright. It won't be a night light, but it's really nice if I don't wanna turn the overhead lights on in this room, I can turn the clouds on and it provides plenty of light. You guys probably saw me making these in another vlog, but all it is is a paper lantern with some like pillow or stuffed animal stuffing hot glued to the outside. Super simple to make and super cute in my opinion. Opposite the crib is Atlas's closet and I have to show you guys what Corey bought. See that huge moon? Yeah, he got that from one of our neighbors who was having a garage sale. So we're gonna put it up kind of behind the clothes and stuff like that. And this, you guys may have one of these. This is a shower caddy. I am all about reusing whatever I can and this shower caddy is perfect for storing like little things like socks and binky stuff and just those little things that always seem to get lost in a kid's room. 
So we put this in the closet to store all of those things. And look at all the itty bitty baby clothes. I am hoping he fits into some of these. We may have to do like multiple wardrobe changes that first couple weeks, but we'll get through them. Of course, outside the closet, we have Corey's biggest contribution to the room. This is Atlas from the game Portal 2. Now I will say Portal 2 is not why we named our son Atlas, but it was definitely a selling point for Cory because Atlas is a character in the Portal video game. One of the things we loved about this room being the nursery is this space over here. All these built-in cabinets are perfect for a changing area. We have all the diapers and extra wipes up here. Of course, a wipe warmer. This lamp I'm in love with. It's a Himalayan salt lamp, but it also looks like Mars. And then how cute is that? I love this so much. Someone made this for us and it is so cute. And then we have tons of storage underneath so we can store books and extra toys and blankets and all that stuff. And underneath all of the stars of the universe, we have this awesome play place for Atlas. Of course, I know his toys are gonna end up everywhere, but this is an awesome play mat. I am so excited about Atlas playing in this for so many reasons. One, because it has this awesome like tent on top, so if I wanna take it outside while Chell's playing, I can and Atlas won't be too exposed to the sun, but I just, it's a really cool play mat. I love the look of this play mat, especially for this room, but also there's just so many different parts, like all of these flaps lift up, they say things, how things feel, making sounds, and those things back there are interchangeable for when he gets older. Plus, it comes with this book. This book's divided by ages, so you can say, oh, from zero to 12 weeks, this is what baby can do, this is how to lay out the play mat, and then, oh, now he's five to six months, well now this is what he can do, and these are the things he's gonna be interested in. Maybe it's just my engineering brain, but I love that. Well that's pretty much it guys. Like I said, I wanted to keep this room super, super simple. I didn't want it to be cluttered, and I think I achieved that, and I just, I love the space theme. I think it's gonna be perfect for Atlas. I'd say this room right now is about 93% done. There's still a couple really small touches I wanna add, like a baby, but that will not be happening today, even though Cory and Sparta seem to think it will. Not yet. No, no, she's popping today. No! Yeah. I do think this is gonna be a perfect nursery for Atlas whenever he decides to come, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you like all the small details, and be sure if you wanna see any of this stuff, look in the video description to see if there's a link because I will try and link all the stuff that I can from this room. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for going on this nursery tour with me. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.